today we are going to discuss a new subject, cost accounting. This would be useful for the graduates of various stream and especially for the commerce levels. Cost accounting is a subject which is developed due to the limitations of financial accounting. In this video, I intend to give you a comprehensive coverage of all the relevant topics related to this subject, especially the conceptual discussions of this subject, which would be very useful for a typical So let's go to the video. There are three major streams of accounting. First one financial accounting, second one cost accounting and third one management accounting. As I already told you, due to the limitations of financial accounting, cost accounting is introduced. Financial accounting is just a record of financial transaction and reporting in the form of financial statements. These financial statements are presented to the external users that is mainly targeted to external users. Who are the external users? That is the various stakeholders. It may be shareholders, may be government, may be customers. However, in cost accounting, there is recording of cost. That is a detailed analysis of cost. That is, uh, for take an example of uh, salary cost, it is broken down into various parts that is um, factory related cost and administration related cost selling related and uh, how much is direct and how much is indirect we can say these are the main features of cost accounting that is recording of cost analysis of cost preparation of cost statements instead of financial statements and financial accounting here in cost accounting we are preparing cost statements and next point is it's targeted for internal users targeted for internal users means um, that is the management level maybe supervisor level maybe ceo it may be board of directors so we can say to some extent it's a confidential data and next point is it is useful in decision making that is cost accounting first it is projection estimation etc in financial accounting only actuals are recorded so cost accounting is useful for the decision making purpose we can say simply it is the recording estimating and controlling of cost let's go through these objectives first one is ascertainment of cost what is ascertainment of cost it is the process of determining cost on the basis of actual data that is computation of historical cost is called cost ascertainment at the same time computation of future cost is called cost estimation so the, uh, these both are interrelated and uh, both are immense use to the management second point is cost control and cost reduction okay what is this cost control and cost reduction okay then most of the companies want to maximize the profit which is possible by decreasing the production cost for this purpose management uses two efficient tools that is first one cost control and second one cost reduction let's focus on cost control that is we focus on controlling the total cost okay controlling the total cost it's a continuous process that is to ensure that the cost incurred in the production should not go beyond the predetermined cost thereafter we evaluate the actual performance then compute variances between the standard and actual that is standard standard and actual means that is actual cost and budgeted cost then find out the reasons for variances if there is variance finally implement the necessary action for correcting the discrepancies then what is cost reduction it is a process which aims to lower the unit cost of a product manufactured or service rendered without affecting its quality. It can be done by using new improved methods or techniques. The aim of cost reduction is to cutting off the unnecessary expenditure which occur during the production process. And tools we can use uh, in cost reduction that is it focus on quality operation and research for example improvement in the product design and job evaluation and merit rating these tools we can use for the cost reduction purpose and what is job evaluation and merit rating job evaluation it's a systematic way of determining the value or worth of a job in relation to other jobs in an organization and what is merit rating it's a systematic evaluation of the performance of an employee on the job in terms of the requirements of the job. So these are some of the tools we can use for cost reduction purpose. Okay, the cost reduction process is a 
temporary process its targets for eliminating wasteful expenses these are some of the important differences between cost control and cost reduction see the chart what is cost control it focuses on controlling the total cost that is cost control does not guarantee quality and maintenance of product at the same time what is cost reduction it aims at lower the unit cost of a product that is cost reduction assured 100% quality maintenance next point is cost control is continuous process and cost reduction is temporary process and next point is cost control is preventive function because it has certain the cost before its occurrence and uh, cost reduction is corrective function we are covering the objectives of cost accounting and we have already discussed the two points okay the third point is to determine the selling price and fourth one to prepare cost sheet cost sheet is a statement that shows the various components of total cost for a product we will discuss the cost sheet preparation in another video okay and finally the objective of cost accounting is to assist the management in decision making that is the goal of the cost accounting is to advise management on the most appropriate course of action based on the cost efficiency and capability so it provides a detailed cost information that management needs to control the current operation and plans for the future i would like to tell you one important point that is the difference between cost costing cost accounting and cost accountancy okay let's see what is cost cost is a, a sacrificed resource to obtain something uh, actually the cost carries different meanings but in cost accounting it is used in a special sense it is the monetary value of all sacrifices made to achieve an objective uh, that is it refers to the resources spent for producing a product or rendering a service or attaining any other objective that is the resources may be tangible or intangible so icm lenden defines cost as the amount of expenditure incurred on or attributable to a specified thing or activity what is costing it is a process of determining cost that it is the technique or process of ascertaining the cost so in this definition you can see two words that is technique and process what is technique that is the technique of costing refers to principles and rules for ascertaining the cost and what is process the process of costing refers to the procedure for ascertaining the cost so we can um, uh, express it mathematically like costing is technique of ascertaining cost plus process of ascertaining cost what is cost accounting cost accounting simply means accounting for cost this formal accounting system set up for recording cost it's a branch of accounting that deals with the planning measurement and control of cost it records measures and reports information about some products services or operations so we can say it is the application of accounting and costing principles methods techniques in the ascertainment of cost it begins with the recording of income and expenditure and ends with the preparation of periodical statements so cost accounting includes costing application of cost control methods and ascertainment of profitability and the fourth one is cost accountancy we have already covered what is cost and what is costing and what is cost accounting now cost accountancy so cost accountancy is an essential part of accountancy uh, which has been developed to meet the managerial needs of the business so this cost accountancy includes cost accounting and presentation of information to management for decision making that's all for this video and in the next video we would be discussing about the methods and techniques of costing thank you for watching the video